What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the video. In this one, I wanna show you how to make samples, but I wanna show you how to make like really emotional, sad samples. Kind of cinematic, I guess. The ones that just get you in your feelings. That's what I wanna show you guys today. Of course, in that retro style, like Q-Beats, Palace, OZ. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna go really in depth, just so you can see like the process of how I do it. Before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the family, hit that bell, so you get a note every time I post. And yeah, with that being said, let's get into the video. Ocean Gang go drown. All right, first things first, as always, we're gonna raise the BPM to about 140. And the first sound that I wanna go for is like a bell sound, something like that. I'm gonna open up Philharmonic. I know there's some good sounds for bells in Omnisphere, in Contact, but Philharmonic right now is like my favorite plugin. It's my go-to, I use it for like everything. I don't think I've used Omnisphere in like a good month or so. Like Philharmonic is my main right now. And I'm gonna just pencil in the melody. And I've got something in my head to be like, Boom, 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 boom. Sounding mad squeaky. Boom. Control everything and press Command R to just replicate that over. And then I need to put this over eight bars. So let me drag that and then drag this MIDI section here. And then the same thing, Command R, to repeat it. I think I actually like that tone a bit better. Just gonna control these and shift option up to try and a higher octave. What I did there was just use option and up to move the note up. I like that a bit better. And now to spice it up a bit, I don't want it to be exactly the same for the whole eight bars. I do. I'm gonna switch it up a bit. So I'm just gonna add in some notes. Gone ahead, added in a few more notes, taken out some. This is what we got so far for the bells. Nice and simple. And I think what I'm gonna do here is just Command D to duplicate this list. I'm just 
gonna add in some notes, like maybe an octave down or something. Boom, boom, boom. Too much low end, let's take it out. Alright, that's a bit too much. And I raise it in the mids a bit. Alright, I like the bell so far right there. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some strings, some violins or viola, something like that, just to add in that emotional spice. Just give it like a cinematic vibe or something like that. Let me turn this up a little bit. That's sounding nice. I want to give it that kind of like sweeping effect. So I'm going to bounce it in place, Let's chop it up real quick. I'm pressing Command T to chop it. I'm going to select everything, go to region, go more, and I'm going to fade it in and out slightly. Okay, that's sounding nice. I'm going to duplicate the bells again and drag down the first set of bells. And let me look for like a different sound, kind of similar. I can spill. Uh, why not? Let's see if we can half speed it. Let's, sound, let's see if it sounds any good. Actually, I do want to add like another vibe to this. So let me just duplicate what we had here in the violin section. And I'm going to control the MIDI notes in this one. Press Command C. And then I'm gonna create a new empty region and paste those notes in here. Then I'm going to hold Option and just drag this down an octave. So I think it sounds a bit more full than what we had before. And that means I'm gonna to have to do exactly the same thing. Bounce it in place and chop it up. So now we've got one violin section. It's got two octaves and one with just a high octave. I wanna add a bunch of effects on top of this now. So what I'm gonna do is bounce this all out together. So we have everything in one way file. I don't know, let's lean this, something like that. La, 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 la. And then I am just gonna drag that way file right back in. The first thing I wanna do is play around with the pitch. See if it sounds good in any other pitches. Nice, kind of, kind of low. Ooh. It sounds so much more emotional when it's pitched down. I like that. I'm gonna duplicate one of these sounds before. I think it's the glockenspiel in this one. Drag that down. I'm hearing like some more bell sounds.
add in some, the it is effect tricks. Cause I want to reverse some of it. To make it sound a bit more retro, I'm going to use Splice. I want to add in some vinyl effect. I've got this one called Lo-Fi Vinyl. I use it for a lot of my beats, a lot of my samples when I want to make them sound a bit more retro. I'm just going to command R to, re uh, to repeat it. Might even add in some RC20, just to hear if it sounds good with the wobble effect. And yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not even gonna add any drums to this. I kinda just gonna let the sample sit and come back to it when I have an idea for the drums. So yeah, that's how I create emotional sounding samples from scratch, that retro vibe, that vintage analog vibe. Kinda like, I guess like Q-Beats, Palace, OZ, that kind of wave. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button right now. And also drop a comment below. Let me know what you think if you found it useful. I appreciate you guys watching. That's about it for this one. I'll see you guys in the future.